Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft. As you can see here, and I just heard the broom stand bubble. Basically, this is a potions master. And we, this is a secret entry. And sorry if the noise is too loud. Anyway, this is my shelter in the tiger biome. These, I actually planted mega spruce trees. Basically, I'm actually going to show you that right now. And excuse the volume. Um. I was planning on doing a challenge where I couldn't survive the w world without the, um, you know what, so I'm deciding not to do that. But anyway, if I can find my. And yes, the battery gets hot sometimes. I know it hot it. It's like. For the past few episodes regarding the Java edition, the computer has been getting pretty hot recently. Like, kind of worried because the end of the year. So anyway, so here's how you do it. This probably won't work on the 1.12 update. I'm sure it will work in this release. So you place it right here. And here we go. You gotta place four of them and this will turn into Popsol and you create a Mega Spruce Tree. The good thing about this is that you can overpopulate, get more wood quickly, and more saplings quickly. That's why I like Mega Spruce Taiga and all that. Anyway, that's my uh, mini tutorial on that one. Anyway, so yeah, let's actually go down to the Potions Master. And this is the Neverwork Farm right here. Yet again, if I, if I do this summons all the never work over here. Sometimes just picks up a couple iron. So I don't know about that. Anyway, as you have just heard, the broom stand has bubbled. And yes, it is a slow falling. This one is 130. So yeah, if I want to increase it, I go into here. And I'll show you how. I just did this off camera by the way but anyway let's actually go back up because I may need to craft the crafting table for one more part of the, the um potions master and that is the craft recipes so like so yeah I might add it um Actually, no, there's already, um, crafting table in there. I'll just put it in as a spare. Anyway, you know why the scoots are in here? Because these are actually not brewable, but... Let me show you. Um, if I can take my... There you go. Did I slow falling? I don't. I think I might have put in chest upstairs. Yeah, it did. That's weird. Actually, no. Oh, it's in there. So, yeah, anyway. You're gonna want to put that in here. And basically, the scoop. I'm running the latest snapshot, by the way, and that creates a turtle shell. But the weird thing about these turtle shells, it's not that you put it on and it gives you, like, water breathing for 10 seconds. But, they're actually brewable. If you put them in here, they would start brewing. Basically, this turtle shell is actually a brewing objective. Yeah, that effect was just on me when my hat got hurt. I took off. Basically, these are actually brewable. They're the only iron elements, I mean armor elements, that are actually the brewables. Basically, that gives you the turtle master. Which gives... Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Anyway, the redstone takes the makes the effect last longer, but the glowstone actually makes the effect more intensive. So like it used to be at the same level slowness and now they give you like eighty percent sixty to eighty percent resistance. 
as of I probably this update, but I just figured it out. Found it out yesterday. It's like I don't know how to create this. I checked online, checked resources. Here it is. Here it is. Potion of the Turtle Master. And um I don't have any milk. Hold on. Here it is. If I drink it, it slows down my speed. Slowness 6 at 90% slowness speed. And you also get resistance 4. What's pretty annoying about it is that your vision re reduced. It's often kind of dangerous. You're slow as a turtle. Oh, that looks like something I can drink. I find it a whole lot better. So anyway, I just put my glass bottle back. So yeah, you'll never know what's going on in the 1.13 snapshot. These days, since they had the potions. The potion of luck, I do not know. I'm actually going to check that out right now. So just please be on standby. It cannot be brewed. Unfortunately, potion of luck cannot be brewed. And it can only be given through commands and things. Yeah, so I just searched on my phone. After a couple minutes of searching, I found out that it cannot be brewable. So apparently, it cannot be a. It's un It's considered uncraftable in survival. And it can only be given through creative mode and commands. Could we have to find loot tables? But anyway. And you may be wondering about this phantom membrane that you may have just caught the eye off. That, actually, is intended to create a potion. And that's the one I've been brewing in the beginning of the video. Anyway, here's my awkward potion. You can see it's brewing. Let's give it a few seconds. I know, for this room I made the background using commands and then I used the commands to change the texture, the wall behind these chests, the cobblestone. And yes, my potion should be ready. And yes, it is the slow falling one. So yes, the potion is slow falling. That's the one I've been doing at the start of the video. Yeah, anyway, potions are a good source, but they can be turned into bad. Like, um, if I could craft a potion of poison, which I'm probably not going to be able to know how, I'm going to try and guess it. I'm going to make my best guess on how I can make the potion of poison. And I forgot the spider eye is. What was that? So yeah. Anyway, so yeah, here's the spider eye. I'm feeling a bit slower than I usually am. Going the speed. Like, I'm not even realizing it. Let's figure this out. No, I should know what this should be. I think this is harming. No, this is poison. What happens if I hit? Fermented spider eye. So yeah, this is poison. Right here. No, the reason why I'm doing this episode is this could get really useful. As if we get to the end, if we could, I could make it and my YouTube channel survives. And it actually turns into a potion of harmony. So. Whoa! It does jump back at you, by the way. If you drink the potion of honey, then you'll be jumped back. So anyway, the good news about these is that they can actually be reusable. And that you do have to use Neverwork to put them, bring them back to the awkward potion state. And you're probably going to see why in a minute. I have the bucket. 
Yeah, I just made Potion of Poison and Potion of Farming. Do not know how to make Potion of Slow Mix, guys, the hardest one. But I'm on the same page, so... And I should be. Yes, I'm offline right now, so... Don't get me wrong. Gas tier. Why am I forgetting ingredients? Sorry, my starter pack. Alright, um, I'm gonna actually experiment so I can, yeah, I need to figure out how to make, um, right. yes, so yeah, um, sugar, let's try sugar and fermented spider, and we're actually going to be experimenting with these, and actually I'm gonna try and add some sugar, yes, it is going, and I do not know what sugar does, to the awkward potion. I'm just starting to get a bit curious with that. Mm, let me look at that. All right, here we go. That swiftness, actually. I'm gonna hit fermented spider eye. And that should turn it into slowness. So yeah, basically I'm now in trivia. The potion of healing does harm undead mobs and I have a problem I don't know what undead even means alright so yes I was right slowness and then let's try another experiment where I do um actually I can take the existing I think I can always make a new one who wants to drink awkward potion? There is no effects. And let's try. Oh my gosh! Oh, that was strict. Totally strict. Yeah, apparently sugar does make slickness. I was a bit surprised about that. That sugar does make slickness and get that out of here. So yes, this does give out the slickness. Basically, this is an epic potion master room. It takes a lot of chests, and there are like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 brewing stands, 4 cauldrons, 3 crafting tables. There actually should be a fourth one. I'll put it here. So, yeah, now there's 4. Crafting tables, four cauldrons, twelve brewing stands, and a ton of chests. You say that is an epic brewing stand with some glowstone. And the, um, never wart room. I'll probably be making some more farm soon by the next episode. So anyway, that'll be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode, everybody.